Hi, welcome to StoneInstruments.com. My name is Gabe Turo, and this is a three-headed darbuka I just finished. It's also uh, known as a doombeck. It's got a hole in the side uh, that's like a tone hole, so you can bend the pitch of the drum by uh, using that. So here, check it out. Uh, oh, just to explain a little more. <clears throat> These are stingray skin heads. Um, it's uh, Kind of a leathery material, uh, very durable. These both play the same note because they're connected at the bottom here uh, on the inside. You can actually see that. But, um, but anyway, right here, there's a connection point going inside the main body of the drum. And then most of the sound's coming out the bottom. Um, it's pretty cool, actually, because if you cover up the, the side hole, you end up with basically like a normal sounding drum. In fact, I think if you just put it down low enough, covering the side hole with my leg here. Stingray skin drums are really sought after, and 
Partly, it's because the uh, the heads are extremely durable, they're weather resistant, um, but mostly it's because they can be very thin but very, very strong at the same time. And when the head is thin, it has good, really good bass response and really good high end. So it's just a good material, it's a rare material to find, and uh, these drums are usually really expensive, but I'm selling them uh, at an extremely reasonable rate because I want to sell them, make money. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, the tone hole is a is a is a is a cool addition, and you can um, basically you get so much volume because of the of the ceramic. Uh, this is stoneware ceramic. Uh, it's extremely extremely hard. So when the air comes in the top of the drum, it is shooting out the bottom. Uh, at a really rapid rate. All the vibration from the head is transferring into the air and it's not transferring so much into the body of the drum like, uh, like with wood. Uh, wooden drums actually dampen the vibration to some extent because uh, they're vibrating and they're kind of porous whereas this is really not porous at all. It's actually coated in glass uh, and it's very dense. Uh, it was fired at uh, 2200 degrees so it became completely molten. Uh, actually twice. This drum was fired twice. So each time it becomes molten, it uh, actually condenses and it's actually a little smaller. So when you throw something, like when I made this, it actually was larger and shrunk each time I, I fired it. Um, so the molecules actually got closer together. It's actually what's going on. It's called vitrification. Okay, so that's, uh, that's this, the three-headed Stingray Skin uh, Darbuka.